Hey guys, today we have an HP Envy laptop. The right hinge on this particular laptop uh, broke. So we have a replacement uh, back plate because unfortunately the right side corner, it busted all these screws out. So we have our new back uh, panel for this laptop. So we're gonna go ahead and take apart this uh, screen here so we can repair that because the rest of the laptop is in good working order. We have additional laptop screws and we actually have our tool kit so we can use these tools to pry open the back of the screen. So I like to start, of course, where the opening's at. So you can see here, um, it's kind of already falling apart. So we just pop off, you just go across the top and pop off all these um, snaps and go ahead and pull the screen down safely without tearing any anything else apart. As we lay the screen down on the keyboard, you can see this is where it got busted off here in that corner. This happens a lot on laptops if you quickly open it too fast or they just give out because this is you know, very strong uh, or very hard to uh, pull back and forth and it just wears with time uh, or maybe there was a screw missing that caused all of them to break. I mean, it could be, could be a lot of different things. But you can see this side is perfectly fine, so, but we had to get a new back plate here to uh, get this fixed. So let's go ahead and remove the screws off this corner here. All right, once you got all the screws done, you can slowly lay this down. Now what we need to do now is carefully remove all these wires, like this wire here and the one that's coming out of here, this is for the wireless to get better reception for when you're connected via Wi-Fi on the laptop. So we need to safely remove this and the webcam and the ribbon cable that comes off it. So be careful not to tear this and we need to lay it down exactly where it's at on the new back panel. So you can see this is where the Wi-Fi is and they actually give you pre-adhesive strips here so <clears throat> we can easily hide the wire back how it was exactly how it was on the old one as you can see there. So just replicate all this and remove it off here safely and then put this back one on there and then we can go ahead and put the screws back in and we should be, it should go pretty quick. So you can see here we're carefully removing these out of here, we removed it off the tape there, and we peeled this back, and we got to peel this one back here on the left side. So, like I said, you want to be very careful not to rip this, um, or you're going to have weak Wi Fi signal in the new uh, lid. So, just carefully remove that, and we remove the tape off of this, and we just need to pull it through here, and carefully, like I said, this is just all tape, and just carefully peel that um, off. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, but I'm basically going to just peel this whole thing off and this side as well, and we'll get this out. All right, now our last thing is the ribbon cable, which we just peeled up. And like I said, you'd be very gentle with this because you can easily rip that ribbon cable. And let's go ahead and lay everything off the old screen. Or I'm sorry, the old cover. And now remove that. And now we can completely remove this out of the picture. And then we got our new one here. We can slide in. And like I said, all we're doing is replicating exactly how everything was on the old one. Um, it might help taking a picture. Um, we didn't do that because we've done this so many times, but it might help you if you take a picture, um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put everything back in place. Make sure you don't cross these over. This is the right side and this is the left side here. So we're gonna go and put these in place and then we'll be back. All right, to give you an update, we have the tape going on the wireless wires here on both sides. And we have a ribbon cable down for the webcam and other sensors. And we have everything neatly tucked how it's supposed to be. And now we have these flaps down over the screw holes. So now we're going to take our screws here and we're going to go ahead and screw these back in. Once we have those screws back in, then we can slowly snap this LCD cover 
back on top of it. So let's go ahead and screw these screws in and then we can move the LCD into place. All right, we have the screws back on now. And if we move the panel up and down, you can see we are looking good and there's no issues. So let's go ahead and place our panel slowly backwards and put it back in place. Now we just need to snap all the edges back in all around the corners and we should be good you guys. All right, there you guys have it. We have it completely done and it looks like a brand new laptop. So that's how easy it is to replace your hinge in case it breaks. Okay, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.